So we have retreat, and of course we have children, which is that. This is what I'm saying. It's it's really a, an immature behavior. And then we have soulmate. I mean, we've been missing each other. I think you guys do really connect, but there is a behavior pattern. And in this case, yes, your love life is being affected by children. I think just um, childhood wounds are, are an issue here. Um, the inner child, when it's soulmate sometimes, when we have connections, inner child gets triggered. And be, this is where the behavior patterns that I'm trying to explain comes into play, where it's, it's the way to react. Then we have let your friends help you. And I feel this is really just the guides. So I feel um, when I get this card, let your friends help you. It could be people, but I don't think this is the case. I To me, um, and normally for me, this energy, when this comes up for me, it's because there are, the spirit realm is kind of um, guiding, trying to intuitively guide you both back to each other. But having to, the triggers that are happening is to also heal. It's to retreat and to really think about um, the behavior. You know, what's causing. Because it's if there's depths and there's love. And, and I honestly feel like this is life partner, um, Aquarius. Then the rest needs to be resolved. And here we have love yourself first. And I think this is a need to learn self-love. I really do feel this is a need to learn self-love. Um, so let's see what else we got for this energy here. Alright. This is too much. There can just two more. So, eight of wands. Spiritual, we have nine of wands and eight of wands. And I feel that nine of wands is the resistance, spiritual strength. This is the finding, but there's resistance to progress eight of wands to move forward. Um, but at the same time, eight of wands is an energy shift. And in this deck, it's called accelerated motion. So this is energy that's taking place to put the two of you in discomfort so you can decide what you want. Here goes the ego, and I do think a lot has to do um, with the inner child and taming that beast within. And I think this is where the insecurities come in because with I'm feeling with this Leo, some of you can be dealing with the Leo, but this is finding your power back, right? And this deck is power and strength, but this is about this, the insecurities of of the person where I really do feel the inner child is being triggered. And then we have the five of pentacles, right? Abandonment issues. I think financial material changes in this case, but because it's showing up in their 3D. So you know how internally the trigger of the internal inner child, that's what the, when your inner child is triggered as an adult, that's an internal thing, right? And so when it starts to reflect in your 5D area, in your 5D life, which is this five of pentacles is what I'm seeing. There's the reaction is how it shows up, how you react, and it affects your connections. It affects your relationships, um, and that's what's what's being shown here. Um, we do have the nine of cups, fulfillment of wishes, and then emotional withdrawal. So there's a need to temper for sure, and a need to really find that self-love because this is a nine hermit energy. So you have two nines here, and nine indicates minor, major arcana hermit for me where there's a need on a day-to-day -day. because my arcanas have to do with our day-to-day -day, our weeks what we how we do the major arcanas are well, life altering and in this case there's a need to really find a way on your day-to-day -day how to interact and really understand your emotions and your soul because the nine of cups are the emotions and the nine of wands are the soul so there's a need for an understanding of both um, so let's see what this nine of wands. Let's get more information on the nine of wands for your person, Aqua. Nine of wands. 
eight of cups shows up again so again it's a need to walk away of emotional um burdens from the past this is to really bring this emotional change so we're talking about eight of cups right to walk towards your understanding of the nine of cups what really fulfills you fulfillment of wishes fulfillment of emotions and you know the behavior patterns that i'm speaking about um knows that it's going to continue to make this person repeat patterns to really remain in certain levels of emotions that don't allow for the growth and i feel this is what what is being shown on an internal level as well um so let's see more on this nine of wands very clear more than nine of wands yep six of swords again two cards two cards of needing to mentally move away and to emotionally moving away it's like this leave it behind right this is about finding a true sense of self with the nines the nines are the self right again hermit minor arcana to hermit so let's see what this eight of wands is let me on the eight of wands yep and this is finding the emotions page of cups three three of swords in the bottom with the five of swords yep and it's dropping the the res there's like resistance i'm feeling the the fears also three of swords into keats fears but again these are the emotional wounds and so with the five of swords i feel this person tries to emotionally control the inner child and again this is how they lash out so the five of swords i'm really feeling a slight vindictive energy when the inner child resurfaces when the wounded inner child resurfaces this person has um a surge of energy where page of cups they emotionally um spaz and sometimes it's not the healthiest and i feel this change the shift that's here is to show them eight of cups eight of wands how to make movement away from these um behavior emotional triggers that really affects their their self-esteem because this is obviously insecurities and self-esteem that i'm picking up with the strength cards so it's very giving more on the strength giving more on the strength so temperance wanted to come out which makes sense so three of pentacles and four of wands and this is a, again i do feel i'm picking up um the the way they view family dynamics because we've got four of wands and again needing to work towards themselves we have death energy which is a transformation needed and five of cups needing to work on those emotions again to really change again their relationships four of wands has to do with our connections our family friends gatherings right remember how i said in the beginning there's a need to have to find ways to show up differently in our relationships and our um and in, in the relationships with all of our relationships right so this person e e e like gets triggered and each soul teaches you a different lesson and three of pentacles it's showcasing how you show up and so this person um i feel with the strength card the fact that this, the three of pentacles is clarifying is there is something there is a maintenance that they 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 have on an outer level how they're perceived on the outside and this is about maintaining a perception on the outside towards the people but in the inside you know they really are in, are affected by these insecurities and um i think the death card shows the discomfort that really stems from the triggers of the inner child because then they realize you know it's what they're not trying to show us that they're really in this five of cups energy um and and i'm also picking up with this three of pentacles some of that five of swords energy where they could be very they just kind of spaz with their words and it's it's kind of to raise their their um ego with the strength right to to make them feel better and so maybe how they communicate again with these pages so it's not the most um mature way to communicate their emotions they definitely do a lot of projecting so we run this five of pentacles and it's out of discomfort of this five of pentacles because it's showing up 
So here we've got the Tower, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Wands again. So we're explaining the energy surge, the Tower, right? It's bringing about this change. This is what I'm saying, the discomfort, the emotional wounds, the Four of Cups of their un unfulfilled energy, right? Where it's this connection puts them in this space where they can feel these abandonment wounds um, with this unfulfilled energy. And it's like, they don't like the towers because they could be sudden and they could be unexpected and then it could throw them off also, um, which is why we're explaining again the Eight of Wands energy that we're seeing here, where it really triggers the wounds. And then, and, and again, we're back to the way they communicate. So. I just feel like spirit is circling back the same energy that causes their um, abandonment issues um, or their lack of self-love because, you know, five of pentacles is, is abandonment. We suffer abandonment in terms of, of rejection, a of rejection of love, of a of rejection of attention, um, any sort of energy that makes us internal, internally feel discomfort it's going to show up in our 3D. And so, you know, everyone tends to control how that affects them on a 3D level. And this person, obviously, I feel very much through the way they respond in terms of their their words and their interactions with you. So um, let's see what the message and guidance is for you, Aquarius. So Three of Cups and the Grover, which is the Hierophant. Um, I, I want to point out, so some of you could be dealing with, sheesh, you got almost everybody here. You got pentacles. You got everybody here. So everybody's here. So the main energy would be the Hierophant, so Taurus for some of you. Um, but I do feel maybe a fixed energy. So because we have Taurus, it could be a fixed with the, with the Hierophant, someone who has a certain belief system. And again, if they're stuck in their own ways. You know, they 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 get in their own way. So it could be a very fixed sign, which in this case could be another aqua. Sorry, aqua. You guys can be fixed. Um, but a Leo or Scorpio or Taurus. But this need for change for you, Three of Cups, I think you need to just continue, right? I think there is a knowing because the guru knows. The guru has an idea. Three of Cups. The guru has an idea that you guys will reconnect. Um, so I really feel continue to do you. I also feel this goes with this, let your friends help, help you. So the angels are kind of guiding this connection, um, because obviously we have the Hierophant and the Three of Cups. So there's, there are, there's in the 5D or in the spirit realm, there is a guidance here, even for yourself to find new information or to even reestablish your way of thinking or pursuing your connections as well. So I feel like this, um, again, there's love here. There's just a lot of inner child behavior because it's not, this is what's gonna keep this connection stuck because of the behavior patterns. You know, people are attached to behavior patterns and you know, um, humans can be very much creatures of habit, especially, and I'm going to say gender specific, especially males, males, when they can't control their emotions, um, they're very creatures of habits. And so they tend to repeat what they know. They normalize a certain pattern. And this is what this feels like. It's like a normalizing of a certain pattern. Obviously it's not it goes both ways, men and women, but, um, I mean, let's be real. So of course, eight of swords in the bottom, seven of cups and the devil. I mean, you know, Aquarius, you know, this exists in your person or this could be you again. You guys know, put, put where the shoe fits, but until this leaves you very confused all the time and it really puts you in this eight of swords, seven of cups, like not knowing what to emotionally do. So this is why I feel with the Hierophant, this is about understanding what, what is it, the devil energy, what the, 
And also, if this is for some of you, I'm getting if this is a trauma bond. So please identify whether this soulmate came into your life to really teach you what trauma bonds are. And maybe some of you are very connected with the Hierophant, the Guru, Guru, because Aqua, you guys are very old souls. And so we have to be careful where, you know, people attach to us. But we also have to know that as old souls, we are also the biggest lessons, um, the biggest transitions, most souls that assist souls to to move through. So we have to be careful also. So be mindful if this, this is a trauma bond from your person and you might have to really, um, you know, maybe you're in a space of just trying to figure it out. And I feel that's where the guide is coming in, the, the, the spirit realm team, the spirit team, um, your guidance or just your intuitive knowing, right? Because we have to know that our higher soul is always assisting us. Is, is helping you kind of filter and find your filter the issues and find your way through through this and navigate through this this connection so let's see what the message and guidance is what's the blockage i'm sorry what is the blockage i knew it i freaking knew it you guys spirit spiritual protection your guides are protecting you this you're gonna find you're gonna know what to do you're going to know what to do. Um, do I want to pull? I'm going to just pull maybe. Let's see what comes out for the untold message. Because I really feel like you guys know what to do. What is untold message? We have nervous. You make me lose my cool. And I just don't know how to act in your presence. That's exactly what the issue is here. <sighs> they lose their cool. And they don't know how to act. And they spaz. And it's just really a... This is a behavioral pattern, Aqua. So let's see if the message and guidance is for you. All right, Spirit, thank you. Illusions. I mean, this is going to be an issue for some of you. Um, as much as you really want to believe that this person can change, I, I, you know, again, things happen. Spirit always speaks to us through our emotional body. So pay attention you know a lot of you have to pay attention i feel this is the main important energy of what we need to pay attention to and what this connection is going to also teach us along the way so illusions right you might be fooling yourself or others are fooling you don't let your mind or someone else put lies into your head you know your own truth be careful of people who don't have in any integrity take off the blindfold and see what is real so this this will happen you know you'll get the understanding you need but definitely there's a need to question so we also have unmask embrace yourself in your ent entirety speak your truth and allow your authenticity self to shine through because you are worthy and then we have support again we have support you do not have to face everything alone accept help or support from others so here number 22 may be important for some of you we also have 23 but there's a lot of unmasking here also so like i said this is definitely unmasking also of your authenticity speak your truth and allow your authentic self to shine through because you are worthy knowing your self-worth um, identifying trauma bonds I really do feel that for some of you these it's it's like people like kind of attach to you and so you it kind of causes I really feel this is decreasing some of your vibrations which puts you guys um, a little back and I think this is where the spirit protection comes in so this is about always learning the lesson of illusions and just be mindful of that as well um, Aquarius. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.